Hey everybody, this is Piper here, and today we're going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So there was an update on Universe Sandbox, and it's called Alpha 18. So I've got a message here that says, Much Faster Physics, Alpha 18B, December 23rd, 2015. Alpha 18 should show significantly better performance for Windows users thanks to something called native computation. Native mode essentially removes a layer from the physics computation, making the whole process much faster. It is enabled by default and effectively replaces the old managed computation mode. Mac and Linux support for native is coming in a future update. This is essentially the only big change in this update but we think you'll agree it's a bigger change. We've also been working hard on some other exciting projects and have made good progress. Read more about what we've planned for upcoming updates. What are we working on? Alpha 8, Alpha 17 and beyond. So there's a, a little bit of a Star Trek uh, pun right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try some big experiments and we're gonna see how good Alpha 18 is. I could play Universe Sandbox to okay using my computer. I actually run it on a laptop, but I tended to find that if I had a lot of like Earths or a lot of things orbiting or tons of shit going down, uh, things would like lag up. So we're gonna see what we can do with Universe Sandbox 2. We're gonna try some random stuff and we're gonna try and push Alpha 18 as much as I can on my laptop. So I'm actually playing with a, uh, it's a laptop integrated graphics card, HD 4000, and playing with 4 gig RAM and iCore 5 processor. One of the older models of iCore 5, but it still is a pretty fast processor. So what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna crash something into the sun. So we're gonna add in some earth around the sun. So we're gonna go for, I think we're gonna Kepler 62. And we're gonna put in some more, let's put in another sun. Actually put in loads. We're gonna put in a star now. And um, we're gonna go for a, I think we're gonna go for a, a giant star, a super giant. Dnabs, well that's super giant, that's huge. Actually let's go for a, oh that's too big, way too big. Okay let's, let's try a, let's just put it in see what happens. So we've put in a, a, a massive star out there and to be honest like if this was on alpha 17 or the previous uh, way that the game was run i'd be probably experiencing a lot of lag right now but it's not actually too bad at all let's speed things up see what happens so we've speeded up uh, the game i can see the the orbits of Syria or Sarah 8 wherever it is, Mars, Venus, they've actually shifted off course and everything's kind of going towards the star. So we're probably going to see a supernova as well or interstellar explosion um, because that star and Teres is so big it's actually drawing the sun towards it. So I might be wrong in this, but I think the power of the sun and Antares combined with all the rest of the stuff going down, it's gonna create a pretty big explosion. Jupiter is actually came out of the orbit from the sun. Um, the sun was actually pulled forward into Antares. I think Jupiter is actually just orbiting the sun. But you can see there the, the pill is getting a lot fainter and I think they're about to come out of the orbit. So the sun is about to collide with the mother of all suns. 
and that's going to be a humongous explosion which has caused supernova and that's just caused probably a really most beautiful explosions ever so supernovas are basically massive explosions in space and it happens when super large stars run out of hydrogen gas they start to burn healing gas and all suns have a nuclear uh, reactor almost inside them they require fuel and when that fuel runs out uh, very powerful explosions happen so that's what's happened right here supernova has just gone down and it's not actually lagging too badly actually um, I, I say alpha 18 is a, a massive improvement from alpha 17 uh, bear in mind I'm not running a supercomputer I'm running a laptop with an integrated graphics card the processor is probably pretty good but obviously the graphics card is a lot to be desired I'm playing on high settings for graphics and I'd say this is a very good improvement for the game so let's close this down let's take off the the HUD as they say and we'll look at the supernova so this is a, this is a massive improvement in the engine for Sandbox, uh, universe uh, sandbox 2 it is lagging a little bit in the actual supernova area but in terms of what it was like before this is a, a massive improvement then we're going to fast forward this and we'll see the remnant of the supernova afterwards but that is a, a very very nice um, layout for the graphics Let's speed this up again. So that's what remains of the solar system. Um, everything's just kind of stopped. That's where the supernova happened. Everything else has kind of been shot out. So on first impressions, yeah, Alpha 18, very, very good improvement. Uh, we'll try it a couple of more things now, I think. So we're going to try a few other things out now. We're going to try uh, another experiment. We're going to try a simulation. We're going to try a galaxy collision. And this is meant to simulate the collision that will take place between our own galaxy and Andromeda I think in a couple of hundred billion years time if I'm right or wrong about that I'm not too sure but it will happen at some point take off the HUD again and we can see everything's been drawn together all the, the planets all the stars everything's getting drawn together and there's going to be a time of massive destruction gases, planets, elements fused together but during massive times of destruction it's also time of creation and that's going to create new solar systems and new planets so we're going to speed this up again each planet, each galaxy is merging with the other and that's running very, very smoothly. So by the looks of it, Alpha 18 is a massive improvement on the previous model. Um, again, I'm, as I said before, I'm running um, an integrated graphics card, a semi-decent processor and 4 gig RAM. And this is running very, very smoothly. So on that note, Alpha 18, big thumbs up, um, very good for the game and it's going to be interesting to see where the game goes and what comes next. So thanks for watching this short video in regards to the new update for Universe Sandbox 2. As always, if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. I hope to do more Universe Sandbox 2 videos in the future. Hope you're having a good Christmas.
This is Piper signing off.